after a long, arduous downwind sail of one hour, we're here in Coco Banderas. <laughs> and I cannot wait to explore these islands. They look beautiful. And with the reef all around us, awesome snorkeling too. I'm excited! After dropping the anchor, I jumped right in to go for a swim. And not too long after, a spotted eagle ray greeted me. So if you look in the chart books, um, the pictures in the guidebook, this island was totally covered in palm trees. And it's really cool because the guy has gone and planted a whole bunch of new palm trees to get, you know, bring up the The reef that protects Coco Banderos is very impressive, and so we were eager to jump in and see what we could find swimming around. The water is crystal clear and just a perfect depth to do some snorkeling. After leaving the friendly nurse shark behind, we headed over to this tiny island to take a swim around. The islands in Coco Banderas are beautiful. It would be easy to spend a long time here snorkeling, swimming, and enjoying the lovely beaches.
like Sandy Beach Island. Like, I think I need to find myself an island. Build one of these. After spending some time in Coco Banderos, we headed across this little channel and anchored at Green Island. It was another pretty popular anchorage, but more so amongst the cruisers and not the boats full of backpackers, which was a nice change. Is what's in these waters, but the starfish grow extra limbs. In the calm waters over here, it was nice to be able to take my paddleboard out. kind of a shitty stormy morning, lots of squalls coming through since last night, got some lightning and thunder, uh, but it's finally cleared up. I don't know, it's like probably about four o'clock in the afternoon, so I decided to take the paddleboard out for a spin and it's just amazing being out here by myself in like such calm waters because usually it's a steady breeze coming through, but uh, nice to kind of stand up and go for a paddle. Um, it's pretty stunning. I mean the views around me and I'm trying to trying to go around this island and then go back to the boat um, just to be able to check out the island finally but uh yeah it's pretty beautiful and nice and calm and serene <laughs> so that's a little island I'm trying to go around but it's just nice and peaceful everywhere. I don't have my sunglasses on so I'm squinting but it's not a bad view behind me. It's a little island and they have family living on it fishing and it's pretty pristine, pretty nice. It's so amazing and so nice how clear it is to see the mountains. There's always kind of been a rain cloud over them, but today they're super clear and it's awesome to see. I mean, they're just so wild. There's nobody living in them and and just to think about how wild the jungles are and the mountains are over there. It's just be amazing to hike through, but I think I'm a bit nervous of the crocodiles that live near the coast, <laughs> but it's still so beautiful just to have this surrounding us right now. There's also a ton of starfish as I'm swimming or paddling over them, but there's a ton of starfish going underneath my board. So I'll try and, pad I'll, I'll try and paddle up near them. Kuna sailing home. I love their sailboats. I want to sail with them. <laughs> I don't know if I can convince them though.
the other sailboats. The next day, Rui and I went out to explore the other side of Green Island underwater. The snorkeling on the other side of Green Island was pretty nice as well, and again, the reef extended out for quite a while. Yeah, so we're down there for a long time, so we had to come up, but 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below on what you thought or would like to see more of in the future. If you enjoy these videos, please check out the link to my Patreon in the description below where you can get added benefits such as early access to videos or get included in the creative process. Until next time, cheers!